we all recognize the significant advancements Godot has made lately, introducing new versions with crucial tools. The community has been equally active, consistently creating add-ons. And today I will present 5 of them that are sure to improve your game development experience. Let's dive in. The first add-on is called Block Coding. So basically this add-on will create uh, something similar to a visual scripting that Godot used to have. Um, and well actually this visual scripting is quite complete, it is quite visual, you can as you can see modify all the sizes of the windows, um, you can also zoom in and out, actually the colors look quite good and really help you here find what you are looking for because it literally has every single function that you would expect. And it's of course super simple to use due to the fact that the only thing that you have to do is drag and drop. So for example here in the ready I am printing a message out and here I can check for the input on the process. But actually here let's firstly drag and drop this if conditional. Then I will put the condition right here and right here I will print something. So here we can quickly select the action. I will just leave UI accept pressed. But I will ju just call here just pressed so that we only have it called once. So now when I press here, the UI accept, as you can see, I got there the message. So as you can see, everything is quite visual, quite simple to use. And anytime that you want to remove a block, you can do it like this, for example. And if you want to delete it, you can just drag and drop it outside of the window. The second add-on is simple to do. This will add here a brand new tab that will be quite similar to a Trello board, uh, a Notion board, or some kind of organizational tool that you may already know. So here you can add as many columns as you want um, and here this is super useful for example to create some kind of to-do list so we can have here to do we can also have other column doing and other column that is basically finished so we may have here different things that we want to implement in our game for example movement collision and um, score Scoring actually, so I may have movement in 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 to do. Uh, then here I can drag and drop this, for example, say of doing, and let's say that scoring is already finished. Um, you can also here just hide the different uh, columns like this. Um, you can of course discard the different things, and you can also search for some items. You may have here tons tons of things, so. Let's say that you want to look for, here I don't know, character. So you can directly here look for the character uh, tab that you have just created. So overall this will avoid having different softwares opened and you can directly organize your project inside of the Godot project itself. The next add-on is called Animated Button. This plugin even provides a, a template, okay, a demo. Uh, so we can play and this is super simple to use, okay, it will basically provide some, let's say, default animations uh, for for the buttons, okay, as you can see. Um, I think that probably the, the two most useful would be scale, okay, scaling in, scaling out. And to actually create these effects, is it is super, super simple. You would just create a brand new scene in this case, I will save it. And then over here, this starts a brand new node. That is the animated button, okay? And now inside of this button, let me make this a little bit bigger. You will see now more properties such as the animation duration, if we want to animate only the scale, the position, or even both, the transition type. And we can also modify here the scale properties. For example, in terms of the animated scale, I will make it uh, last for something like 0.2 seconds, the intensity is going to be 1.3. Okay, and as simple as this, in just literally two seconds, you are going to have your button animated. So this is going to be scaling in, but I believe that if we make this negative, this should be scaled out actually. Yes, there we go. Okay, there may be still some issues with the with the plugin. But well, they are probably going to update it because here, as you can see, 
there is also some problems with the position okay that sometimes depending on the mouse it doesn't work perfectly as we saw a couple of seconds ago there you go uh, but well anyway uh, this can really help you some time save some time when you are creating a simple ui and want to have some animated button the fourth add-on is label font auto sizers basically this add-on will basically allow us to have a label or a rich text label that as you can see it's going to adjust the font size based in the text so here actually we see the comparison between a label uh that has auto sizer enabled which means that has this uh, add-on as you can see i can add as many numbers as i want and the font size is always adjusted as well as you can see here we with the with this without this plugin the uh size well it isn't changed automatically we would need to create some kind of a script um for example here we reached until 37 and 37 is here so as you can see here we were able to display much more text so this is super useful for creating uis that actually for example their text uh changes in runtime uh because it is a super a useful thing because the only thing that you have to do you have here a new kind of label label auto sizers and as i told you you also have the rich or uh, rich label auto sizer so by just basically adding this and modifying here the values depending on the exact result that you want to achieve you will actually have these amazing label auto sizers working perfectly and the last add-on that i wanted to show is to do manager now this will add some command uh, some comment markers that then here in the to do tab you're going to be able to quickly uh, go to for example i already have here an example script so let's say that for example well, here this needs an update okay so I, um i can actually see it's quite uh, quite uh simple where this is okay um and as you can see it actually take takes me to that place uh when i double click on the comments marker uh, so indeed this is uh, quite good for organizing the project and for noting down what has to be done okay it actually also provides here uh, an example as well and the good thing is that you, you also have this other tab that is for only for the current script okay and finally you also have some settings okay um you have more advanced things but well the, the most straightforward settings are this one basically here you are going to be able to add um as many uh patterns as you want you can quickly go ahead and add some of them um for example I, I this update was actually one of mine that i created and you can actually also modify here the color let's say i want to have here some kinds of green color and here so you can see now update has this new color in the to do uh, window so these were all the items that i wanted to show uh in this video if some of them were useful, please let me know in the comments down below. See you on the next one and bye bye.